Hey guys, it's Kylie, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a Mickey tie-dye. I'm in my garage, that's why there's a car behind me. So, you need tie-dye stuff. Sorry, I'm like kneeling down. Um, elastics, gloves, white shirt, um, water to dip your shirts in. Um, here's my shirt, and then I have a stencil. Here's my stencil um, for the Mickey. So, what you're gonna do I first did, I traced the Mickey. I did this ahead of time because it was going to take a while. So I traced the Mickey with pencil. And then once you're done with that, I sewed it with um, dental floss. So that's what, so once you do that, you're going to take your Mickey and you're going to pull on it. Pull it tight here. Let me try to show you how to do this. the camera so I can do this there you go so you're gonna pull on the Mickey until you pull it all together make sure you get all sides in the whole sides in once you get it in all nice and tight you take an elastic yeah. take an elastic and put a really tight elastic around the whole Mickey. You can like feel where it is based on the dental floss. Make this really tight. See? Okay. And then from that, we're gonna spiral the shirt. So I'm gonna actually do this one next. I already have one I was testing with. First, actually before we spiral it, we're gonna dip it in the water. So, we have these two buckets of water. So we're just gonna take it, get it like damp. This helps the dye stick to it better. So, I'll take my So here's the shirt. Make sure you squeeze it up so it's not like dripping wet. Here's the shirt. Okay, now we're gonna spiral it. That's what I decided I was gonna do. We're making these for a Christmas trip, so we're doing black Mickey with green and red. Actually, I'm gonna bullseye it. It just seems like be better. I'm just gonna take it, pull it up, take the next elastic, put it a little bit farther down. Now we can do decent, pretty big sections because we're only doing two. The shirt's pretty big, so two colors. Here's the bullseye of it. And then this. You want these elastics to be pretty tight so that the dye doesn't drip between your sections. That looks good. So here's the shirt. This top section right here is your Mickey and then it will be green and red going on from there. So now we have to make the die. I'm gonna just set you up while I make the die. So we need black for the Mickey. So we have our black die. It's got the powder already in it. I'm gonna take my so a little water and a funnel. Here's a funnel. This is just to control the water. Pour it in. A little bit more water. Okay, that looks. 
up. Okay, so we cleaned up that spillage. So we're kind of short in the black on this one, but it should be good. It might be a little strong because I don't know how much black is in it, but now we're gonna make the green safely. And I'll make the green in the red. I also put on gloves because I don't want to get dye all over my hands because that shows everybody that I was dead eye. So once you make your color, you shake it up a little bit. There's our green. And we grab paper towels. You should clean off your funnel if it gets any dye on it. So you don't get your mix up your colors into it and making them. Red. You want to make sure you get all of the powder off the bottom. Green. Green looks pretty good. There's, see how this is like lighter? That's just powder. Kind of hit the back bottom a little bit. Get that. And same with the black. I'm gonna add a little wa water to those rock. Might make it a little lighter, but it's okay. Looks good. Clean out the funnel. So once you have your colors, it is time to start dyeing your shirt. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna lay down some paper towel just to suck up the dye so it's not getting everywhere all over my shirt. So I'm gonna start with the black. Here, let me touch you down a little bit. There you go. So start with the black. Be careful pulling off the covers like that so that you don't spill it everywhere. That's why you have a paper towel. Maybe. This is a little bit hard to try to film and do. I'm usually just doing it. So start with the black. Up in your top, Mickey, where your Mickey is. Make sure you fill in all the cracks. This black. Yes, looks very purpley. So make sure to twist it around. Just get in all the cracks. Just 
you move it around a little bit, you can look in and say, oh, there's white sections. You don't really want to see any white. You also squeeze it a little bit and move it around. That helps to get the dye into it. Okay, so we got our black. Now I'm going to take an extra one of the extra one of these gloves. I'll just take my glove off my hand. And I'm going to put it around our black and elastic that on. Just so, because our black is trying to be a shape, it doesn't, the other dye doesn't fling onto it. black separate from the rest. Okay. And I just be covered in dye. Put on, put on, I'm putting on a new glow. Make sure that's all elastic on. Looks good. I'm actually gonna put another elastic around it. Just keep it stay. And the dye set has come through a little bit. Now uh, we're gonna do red next. I'm actually gonna take the color off the green too. Okay, if you don't get right up to the black, it gives it like a white layer next to it. Now for these, I'm just gonna do one side and then I'm gonna flip it. Try to do, that. instead of trying to wrap around the whole side. Red. Now, if you're doing this on a table that you don't mind getting dye all over, that's one thing. But if you're not, I would put down trash bags and newspaper and paper towels to suck up the dye so that you're not getting dye everywhere. Now, red. And you don't have to do the black Mickey. I wanted it to pop compared to the red and the green. the red. This one we gotta really kind of lit up because it's a lot of like the edges. It's like this, some of the sleeves and stuff get in this. The bottom of your shirt. It's just a lot of like flimsy pieces. So. I'm gonna actually squeeze it to try to save some of this dye so I'm not using all the dye on one shirt. A little bit more on this. A 
the thing is, these paper towels are sucking up a lot, so I might just take them off. the dye throughout the shirt so it really gets in there. If you squeeze the dye in once it sits you won't have to squeeze out as much and you won't be wasting as much dye. This is our finished shirt. It's like that. I'm gonna take a plastic bag. That one's got a hole in it. One that doesn't have a hole in it. Okay. And I'm just gonna take my shirt, keeping the. I'm gonna keep the plastic on the black so that it doesn't blend. Okay, and that's your shirt. You let it sit for 20, 12 to 24 hours. Sorry, cut. Somebody came in. Um, 12 to 24 hours. And then you rinse it out, and I'll show you the final product. I'll rinse it out and show you. Okay, so I washed the shirts. Um, this, the Mickey shirts. I made a couple of them. That's, um, and it, so I let them sit for 12 to 24 hours. Then I washed them, like rinse them in the sink, and then I put them in the wash um on a like a warm setting and then i threw them in the dryer uh, i washed them alone with nothing else in them besides other tie-dye shirts so that if any dye comes off them they don't get ruined so here is our final product let me lay it up this is the final product you got the mickey in the middle and then the um coloring on the outside it bullseyes out in different colors um on the four shorts i made we had a few issues so not all of them came out perfect that one came out good and we had another one that came out this one when i pulled it out um the mickey one of the ears was completely white so we tried to fix that with some extra black i still might add some black to that but all you have to do is re bullseye that one section and add some black to it we also had that issue with one of our other shirts that the middle circle didn't come out right. Like it came out red instead because of the way the dye like smeared out. So I fixed that by adding some. It doesn't look the greatest, but they're homemade. That's all that matters. Um, and so I fixed that by adding some black to that. When you do that, make sure it's even on the back because the back now looks a little weird. It does it just looks like a black spot, but it's homemade. Nobody's care like you care about what. It looks like it's the fun that matters. Um, we're wearing these for Christmas Day in the parks, but they each came out slightly differently. Some have stronger green and stronger red. Some are more white, but it together they're all gonna look nice. Hi, kitty. Um, and yeah, that's the shirts we made. I'm happy with them. It was a test to see if they. Um, we I was able to do all four of them. One one thing, but to get all four to work, that if something's slightly off, it doesn't always come out right. So, thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna have 
I have another tie-dye video going up probably after this. I'm not sure which one's going to go first. I think this Mickey one's going to go up first. And that, check that out. And check out some of my other Disney and Lego videos. And I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below if you have any ideas for more videos. Thank you.